Uh, it's so funny that uh, both Usami and Kim kind of have like that road to UFC kind of connection. Well, Kim was obviously in road to UFC. Usami was not in the road. He was supposed to be, but he had apparently got like a really bad weight cut or something. And he had to like get, get out the tournament. Um, it's interesting, though, that uh, we're seeing a lot more Korean fighters come to Ryzen, particularly from Road FC. Uh, Road FC at one point was, at, I would say, was the most underrated promotion, uh, MMA promotion that was not being seen by regular MMA fans. And then, unfortunately, during the pandemic, it kind of just went went to uh, trash because uh, they couldn't get in foreigners. They were basically, they, they became a regional promotion, uh, essentially, with just, like, local fighters and whoever was in Korea. So, but now... I mean, that Andrew, you could basically say, and I hate to interrupt even though it's kind of my thing, but you could basically <laughs> say Road FC was the top promotion in Asia then the pandemic happened. No, no, no. Not the top. Not at all. Ryzen was still drawing more. But I mean, like, it was the most underrated in terms of quality, in terms of, like, what they were doing as a promotion. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's good to see that they're kind of slowly crawling back. And uh, one, one they're, they're, they have a whole bunch of other fighters that fought in 